Good morning, Quadcopter101 here, and what I got for you today is a neat new review of the WL Toys Q Q393A Dragonfly. Now, if you look at the Dragonfly, you'll say to yourself that, yeah, this looks very similar to something I've already re reviewed, which is the WL Toys uh, Q696A. Um, however, it is somewhat different. There are a few minor differences in the shape of the quadcopter. And also, notice that these skids, you know, this is all in black with gold trim, and these skids are dark black. So the LED light in there, it, I, I'm not sure if there is an LED light in there or not, but if it is, it will be somewhat muted. So this is not going to be as good a night flyer as, say, the uh, Q696A, which is a white bird with uh, clear trans or well with uh, whitish um, landing skids with that light up very well at night. So this is not going to light up very well at night, or at least not as good as the Q696. Um, another difference, and this is the big difference of this, you know, this is also a 5.8 gigahertz FPV flyer like the Q696, but um, it does not have, um, you know, its gimbal is not gyro stabilized. It is just a little rubber ball gimbal to uh, uh, reduce vibrations to the camera, and that's about it. However, its lens does swivel up and down, but again, it is not gyro stabilized. So any gyrations of the quadcopter are going to show up, and I'm afraid we are going to see some gyrations because we got a little bit of a breeze that comes through here every once in a while today. So you'll see, you'll probably see quite a big difference between the video that you get from this and the Q696A. And additionally, its camera is not a 1080p camera, it is a 720p camera. So that is the third major difference between the two. It does have a proprietary battery and it appears to be the same battery as the Q696A, except it comes in black. So look, uh, you know, you probably want the uh, white version if you got this Q696A and the black uh, version of the battery for the Q393A. And again, it is a proprietary battery, I believe it's 20, let me look at that again. I can't tell right now, but I believe it was 7.4 volts, 2600 milliamp per hour. I'll put it up here if I, in, as a correction if I was wrong. Uh, the idea behind the battery is they want you to, to have this slide-in battery so you don't, won't make mistakes by uh, plugging in incorrect polarity, but I think that just creates <laughs> more issues in that you're going to have to pay extra for that battery since it's proprietary. Uh, let's go over the controls. Again, it is a 5.8 gigahertz FPV flyer comes with a receiver monitor screen that receives on Boscan band E4. Uh, I believe that's 5645 megahertz. And again, I'll put a correction here if I'm wrong. Um, with that in mind, I do have my goggles here. I will be recording the FPV reception from this quadcopter via my goggles and also viewing it in real time on the screen here, but it is a sunny day, so I'm not so sure I'll be able to see much looking directly at here. But Keep in mind, you can use FPV goggles if you so desire, since it is uh, Boscan Band E. Going over the controller, this button here is for selecting different rates, beginner, intermediate, expert. This button here is for selecting flips on the quadcopter and telling them which direction to flip. Uh, you can do an emergency stop on the propellers, propellers, since this is an altitude hold bird, those propellers will be spinning in a crash by holding both of these buttons down simultaneously, and that will shut off the motors quickly hopefully, in time to prevent motor burnout. Uh, it does do automatic takeoff and landing by pressing this button here. Uh, it has one key return, but this is again a headless mode one key return, where it merely f uh, flies the parallel direction back from the direction it was pointed at takeoff. It is not a true return to home and landing. It does have headless mode you activate by pressing this button here. Um, you can swivel the camera lens up and down by pressing this button here. And you can take a photo by pressing this button here, and a video by pressing this button here. And additionally, it does have um, telemetry. Now that was the big deal on the Q696A, and it's a big deal with this one too. It does have telemetry in that it'll tell you the altitude it's flying at in height, um, the speed it's going at in meters per hour. I believe this, this is also in meters, the height, and the minutes flying and also the uh, remaining battery power on the quadcopter up here. It tells you the battery power. Now that was an issue with the Q696 in that it wasn't very accurate. I didn't have much warning before the... Uh, this actually starts to beep on low battery power, but before the time it started beeping, and it, it will do an automatic descent, and it will start an automatic descent to landing um, once this thing starts beeping. So keep that in mind, folks. I did not have much warning 
and it still showed two bars that on the battery power so I don't know how accurate that is so let's go for a flight of this thing and show how it performs let's get it started again to get it started up you push in the battery and then you turn on well turn on the transmitter and bind it like so let's make sure that I got it bound and that's how you start and stop the motors I forgot to mention that folks you bring the sticks down and out let's turn on the video receiver make sure we're getting a signal and again I am getting a signal I don't know if you can see that or not because we're out in the sunlight but also I want to start my goggles make sure we are on E4 which is channel 334 yeah you are and we are and I'm starting the video recorder now so we're recording there so we should be good to go let's get it in the air putting my glasses back on uh, starting the camera the video camera by pressing this button here and holding it making sure it is recording <laughs> yeah I got a blinking red light so we are recording so starting the motors also it should be giving me a red number on the screen it's not showing red number on the oh yeah it is there it is so it's let me know it's recording starting the motors and automatic takeoff now it does have altitude hold let's fly it around low first see how this altitude hold is working at Toward me, coming toward me. How do you like my t-shirt, folks? <laughs> That'll be my trademark. <laughs> Let's go up and about. See how it performs. Now I don't want to fly too quickly right now because we're trying the camera out. Make sure I get a view of the area. We'll go up a little higher. I'll fly a figure eight around the area. Turning now. Flying over my position. And I'm going to point the camera down. That's as far down as it'll go, folks. Oh no, wait. I guess it'll go a little bit further, right about there. Pressing down. And I am going to keep it pointed downward, so as that kind of gives a good view of the ground. <laughs> oh, a little bit higher. Raising it up. Okay, and then coming downward. Let's come back down again. This is a big bird. <laughs> Q393A. The FPV is working. I actually can see what I'm, where I'm going. Let's go a little further down the road, actually. We'll go out a, a little bit more. Supposed to have a range of over 100 meters, just over 100 meters, which would be right around there. And I'm going to bring it in fast. It has two speeds, beginner and intermediate. I am an intermediate right now. Yeah. That's as fast as it's going to go. Well, it's kind of maneuverable. Let's come down a little lower. Let's try its maneuverability out. And we'll try a flip. Coming around. We'll try another flip. <laughs> That's a 
like the best flips you're gonna get out of it. It's a big bird, you know, so big birds aren't great flippers. <laughs> but it will flip. I'm not gonna do too many of those because I don't want to burn out the motors. Okay, let's fly it around low. It's slow right now, I'll show you it. And right now, let's do an automatic landing. When it gets close to the ground, it automatically shuts off. Okay, let's turn off the camera right now, make sure I got that last video. Right now, it still says three bars on the quadcopter. Three bars remaining, so let's start the video camera one more time. Where is that light? Okay, the light is blinking. It's blinking right here. There's how you can tell if you're recording or not, folks. There's a red blinking light. So, we are blinking red. Oh, there's a caterpillar there. Desert caterpillar, I didn't know that that they had those out here. Right there. <laughs> okay. Let's get away from him. I don't want to smash him. Yeah, I'm going to try to keep it in close for the rest of the flight, folks. So you can see it. Still got three bars. Don't see any blinking on the lights. Okay, with that in mind, let's go out then. Go up a little higher too. One more. We'll go up high overhead. Still three bars. Upwind a bit, plop it there, and rotate. Showing the area, and the wind has died down, which is good. And yeah, coming back down. Still three bars. Well, that's a long flyer. I'm not sure what happened with my 696, why it died so quick. You know, the battery died at two bars. And it started blinking at two bars. This one, maybe the battery was faulty of mine. My Q696, maybe I ought to swap batteries to see. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this one's flying nicely. It's actually a good quadcopter. Nice flyer, you know, smooth with its altitude hold. Simple to fly. Telemetry, I love that telemetry. You have a little yaw there. <laughs> so, with bars, we're still at three bars. I can't believe we still have three bars. We still have more flight time, but we'll use it. There's still no, no lights showing up yet. Going way out there. Two bars. Okay. Again, this is where I had problems. Once it reached two bars. So we're, we're going to leave it in close. So for the remainder of the flight. I don't see any blinking yet with the two bars, but yeah, there it goes, doing an automatic descent to landing. It starts to descend at two bars, let's hit landing. <laughs> so when it reaches two bars, it wants to land. Similar, that's the same thing as the uh, what happened to be on the Q696A. So keep in mind, folks, you fly <coughs> all the way down to two bars, and then you better, it's going to start descending. So keep that in mind, and descending to a landing. It's telling you it's getting low on power, and I better start that, stop that video before I forget. 
video off. So all in all, um, I hope the video came out nicely. We'll see. Um, I was doing a lot of yanking and banking there, so it's probably going to make you kind of seasick to watch it, but I'll, I'll include what I can of the video. So all in all, it is a, it is a very good flyer. I'll admit that. Um, lots of power in it. Um, again, this one, as the difference is, this one between this and the uh, 696, this 696 has a gyro stabilized gimbal. This one does not. This one does have up, slight up and down movement. Let me demonstrate that real quick here. Let's hit down. Let's see if you can see that. And it tilts a little bit downward, maybe about 10 degrees down. <laughs> and tilting it back up again. Yeah, about 10 to 15 degrees up and down, or downward movement, that's about the max you get. Let's see if I can get it even farther. I'm going to hold my thumb on it and see. No, maybe 20 degrees. <laughs> downward, and that's full up. So, that's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.